And I do want to give us some updated information from Everett Police just within the last few minutes. Uh, they've been looking into this crash, learning whether or not uh, it was an intoxicated driver that caused the crash. They just let us know that they believe alcohol and reckless driving were a key factor in the accident. Uh, and what they're saying is the suspect, a young man who right now is at Harbor View Medical Center, uh, will likely be arrested and facing three counts of vehicular assault once released from the hospital. Those are felony charges. The scene itself last night was here near Broadway in Everett. And right now they're saying a lot of people, police are saying a lot of people are posting on social media, Facebook, Twitter, video, photos that they captured. And police are saying they need all of that as part of their investigation. Now let's take a look at the video that we have from last night. This was a six car accident. Eight people went to the hospital. We're learning four of those people were seriously injured, including a young man who police say may have caused the accident, as I just mentioned. Now, they did say they found open containers of alcohol in the suspect's car, but they're saying tonight they're working to put together a case and they're asking for the public's help. This collision occurred in an area that's pretty populated, busy part of our town, and there's been probably all kinds of video out there that captured it. I noticed that there's citizens that even have posted video about it. So our detective needs to get his head around that. So the ones investigating this, those are detectives from the traffic safety unit. They'll continue this investigation, but they do say to reach out to Everett Police if you have a cell phone video or if you took photos from last night. This is a busy intersection. They say a lot of people were in the area. As for that suspect, again, he's at Harbor View Medical Center. There are four people with serious injuries. This young man is one of them, but police say tonight he's likely going to be facing charges once let out of the hospital. In Everett tonight, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.